Hi, I'm Larry Gertz. I manage the Iowa Territory for 360 Yield Center. Standing today with uh, my family's uh, 3000 series Case IH Cornhead. Uh, it's outfitted with Yield Saver. Uh, it is a standard uh, uh, OEM uh, stock roll that is on this head. Uh, it has the opposing style knives. Yield Saver is about getting more of your crop into that grain tank. We know that one of the values of Yield Saver is its ability to cushion that ear. Instead of the ear coming down and hitting solid steel deck plate, there's a layer of bristles in between that cushion that, that butt end of that ear. We don't damage the kernels as much. We don't have cracked kernels that fall out in front of the head, or if they do make it in the machine, uh, they typically get spit out the back, so it's lost yield. Also, not Yield Saver is about grabbing kernels that are floating around and bringing them into the head, sweeping them into the head. And we know that it also is about capturing some of those smaller nubbin ears and bringing them into the head. The more effective that row unit can be in pulling that stock down through quickly and cleanly, the better job Yield Saver will do, the less amount of residue that you're going to have go through the machine and have to manage uh, once you're beyond the head. Prior to harvest, I encourage you to take time to look at the machine, look at the head, evaluate the spacing on those knives. On this Case IH head, we can move those in, and we're looking at getting down into that 1 32nd to 1 16th inch spacing so that we can be within factory settings and improve our experience with Yield Saver. Taking a little bit closer look at the head, we've got the safety stand in place. Um, thought it'd be uh, good to see down into this particular row unit for our purposes today. So have the Yield Savers off, looking down through the deck plates at the stock rolls, at the knives, seeing that space and looking at it saying, well, that's, that doesn't look too bad. But when we consider what uh, the manufacturer recommendations are, um, between 1 32nd of an inch to 1 16th of an inch is, is the gap that we'd like to see those stock rolls at on this Case IH head. So I found a couple of items. Um, take a look at, uh, just took a, uh, putty knife and uh, position it and that's going to run us real close to that 1 32nd of an inch gap that we're shooting for. Found a, uh, a framing square. When I ran that across to the micrometer here I found that we got that very very close to 1 16th of an inch. And then ran another item here just got a depth gauge with uh, uh, the side uh, arm of it here. We found that that's, uh, that's pretty much at an eighth of an inch in terms of dimensions. So as I look here, my 1 32nd ideal, a lot of space in there and run that putty knife all the way through. Take my framing square. Again, I got all kinds of space in there, particularly up in the front. Take my depth gauge on that 1 8th measurement there and I can put it in. It's gonna get tight in the middle there and it's going to get wide again at the very front end of the stock roll as well as at the back end. In a lot of cases, that's what we see, that, that wear pattern from front to back. So from a gap standpoint, we're clearly beyond that 1 32nd to 1 16th inch range that we'd like. So we're going to take a look at how we can adjust these knives, move them in, and get them closer to manufacturer recommendations, and hopefully allow not only our stock roll to do a better job, but also our yield savers to be more effective about what they're accomplishing. Let's take a look at a row unit where we've already made the adjustments to the four sets of knives. Uh, got our safety uh, lock in place on the head, uh, working underneath, we did not take yield saver off of these rows. Um, and in this case, the adjustment that we've made, uh, we can take our putty knife that had that 1 32nd inch spacing and we've got it down where we've got a little bit of space left in there. In fact, I can take my framing square, which was at that 1 16th of an inch thickness, and I can run that pretty easily through there. It gets a little tight in some spots there, but for the most part, we're running at about uh, 1 32nd to 1 16th inch spacing, which is right there where manufacturers will tell us that you wanna run those stock rolls to help them not only process the stock, but uh, get that stock pulled down through uh, that corn head as efficiently as possible. To be able to make that adjustment, we had to loosen this bolt, which is uh, pinching two sets of knives opposite sides of each other together, as well as these hex head cap screws in order to be able to, to move 
that knife down uh, closer together. We'd look at our gap and we decide how far we felt we needed to move them together and we make that adjustment. We actually uh, were able to do that uh, on the row unit on the right side of the head as you're sitting in the cab uh, looking out. But on the left side, uh, we did have to pull uh, that roll off uh, as the uh, uh, deck plate adjustment uh, was in the way in terms of being able to get uh, an end wrench in position on one side of that, that, that uh, locking bolt, uh, as well as a, uh, a socket on the other side in order to be able to loosen. Taking time prior to harvest to evaluate the spacing on the knives of the stock rolls on this Case IH head, getting them closer to OEM specs of uh, 1 32nd of an inch to 1 16th inch versus the 1 8th inch to maybe even pencil width uh, gaps that were in many of the knives here. Really feel that we're going to have a better experience with how the stock rolls process that stock, that residue breakdown, but also what kind of experience we have with Yield Saver. Appreciate your time today. If you've got a Case IH head, you're running Yield Saver. I hope you take a moment before harvest gets started and evaluate if there's an adjustment that you can make to improve your experience. Have a great one.